So the Artisan Inn started as a business 30 years ago, but the story started before that when my mother immigrated from Holland to Canada in 1967. She ended up working in Ontario and uh, eventually met my father. When they moved to Newfoundland, the only people that they knew from the island was a couple that lived here. And they insisted that my parents come and visit the birthplace of this couple. And when mom came around the bend in Trinity for the first time in the 1970s, she kind of found that little pocket of kind of Europe hidden in Newfoundland for the first time and just absolutely fell in love with the place and bought a little cottage for herself right on the water. The natural beauty of Trinity is what gets you at first. A fishing village since the early 16th century went on to become a place of shipbuilding schooners mainly, the ships of the day supporting the Labrador fishery. Now it's a place that whispers those memories, with views, heritage buildings, and hospitality that'll take you back in time. The inn really started with the building Campbell House, which was built originally for the teacher, uh, Mr. Campbell, who taught here navigation here. And then eventually what happened over time was, you know, we bought another property uh, and that's the property I'm actually sitting in here right now. Um, that is the, what's known as the twine loft. That's our dining room. So it's a fishing shed right on the water. And after time, we've had so many guests visiting from all around the world buy or build property that they bought property and asked us to manage it for them. So the inn has actually grown uh, by us managing different properties throughout town for different couples and then people have a chance to stay in uh, a variety of either historic buildings or newly built buildings. So that's really how we've kind of grown over the years. The town of Trinity has a fairly notable heritage area, anchored by stunning churches, dwellings, fisheries, and commercial buildings alongside other structures. These are notable examples of a Newfoundland and Labrador historic townscape, protected with pride by the small settlement of locals. Uh, I've definitely taken after my mother. I always really wanted to see the world. I spent time in my university years living in Brazil. I studied in Russia. I studied in France. So I had this idea that I was going to break away from Newfoundland. And what I found was uh, in my 20s, I went away to Ottawa and did the sommelier program at Algonquin College. Uh, and while I was there, my mother actually discussed potentially selling the business to a buyer who was interested. And I realized when she said we might not have this in our lives anymore, that this was really where I wanted to be. Whales, birds, icebergs, and wildlife are a main attraction here. The locals know they are only here to support these gifts of nature. The coastline here is absolutely exceptional. We're actually part of the newest uh, geopark um, for UNESCO. It was just uh, announced earlier this year. So for our guests to be able to come and stay at the inn and have the experience in our buildings, but then be able to say go out uh, and have that experience with Sean and Chris at Sea of Wales Adventures just really completes that experience. Hey, my name's Chris. I'm from Trinity, uh, Newfoundland and I watch whales every day. It's uh, a passion of mine and it never gets old. It's beautiful to be able to work with my wife. She's uh, very good and knowledgeable about the whales. She's taught me lots and we get to work together every day. We get up, have breakfast, make game plans and we go with weather and whales and we live the dream every day. This uh, body of water around the bottom of this peninsula is our playground. It's like living in a storybook. I mean it's a beautiful little place to be um, and in some ways, living here is like being frozen in time. There's nothing like getting to know the locals. And there's really nothing like a local Newfoundlander. This is a passion, pure and simple. Um, so we have people who literally come from all over the world. Um, we have quite a following of people who have been coming back years and years and years. The great ocean explorer Jacques Cousteau once said, 
The sea, once it casts its spell, holds one in its net of wonder forever. This is one of those magical places where sea spells are cast, great memories are made, and many, many return. One of the most special things I find about the people that come visit here is that they've all said that Newfoundland just changes them forever. And there's something about this place that just stays with you once you've been here. Thank you.